So, hello, this is Paolo Jasmine, and this is a quick video blog that I wanted to make. Um, first of all, um, let me get something that I'm going to need uh, later, on, later on. Okay. So, this is a quick video blog. Um, if you have been following my videos, you know that um, I've been feeling kind of frustrations about going to, you know, being able to find a job and all that stuff. Um, that kind of changed uh, recently. Um, and I said that because I got lucky and recently I just got offered a job at a very good company. Um, this pays more than minimum wage, so that's a good thing. Um, they are flexible too, so I can continue going to school and, um, and and doing other things that I do, like stage combat and fight choreography. And uh, but also, it I know that it can probably bring uh, help me. Uh, it might be the start of a new career, and I hope it becomes like that because I I I really need. Uh, been thinking about the future too, you know, being 37 um, and all that stuff. Uh, so I want to, to start changing things a uh, little, little by little. Um, in any case, um, my first, uh, something that I want to talk today is because uh, I'm going to talk about my experience, how it changed, and also I want to discuss, but I want to discuss first uh, a comment that somebody wrote me on a page. They were saying, it was uh, in one of my videos, they wrote and they told me that a job is not a right, it is a privilege. Personally, I think that is a myth. Why do I think that is a myth? Simple. Let, we, let's go to the basic definition and let's look at the same. They are saying that a job is not a right, it is a privilege. The definition of privilege is a right in mutiny or benefit enjoyed by a particular person or group to grant privilege to. So, the fact that um, um, people, that, that person, the, the fact that the statement that the person made that a job is not a right, it is a privilege, um, kind of contradicts each other because if it's not a right, then it cannot be a privilege because a privilege is a right too. But the privilege part, the difference between, in my opinion, between a privilege is that a privilege is something that you gain just for being who you are. Basically, if you are born in the United States, you are a U.S. citizen, so you have certain, uh, it's a privilege to be born here and be a U.S. citizen because you can, you basically can, you don't have to worry about, um, um, you can apply to jobs, you have certain civil liberties and all that stuff. Um, so in that sense, a job is not a privilege, in my opinion, because a job, you can get hired by a company, but in some cases, and in most states, there is the at will option, so an employer can terminate, um, I mean, the job can be terminated um, either by the employee or by the employer. So it is not a privilege, you know, because if the company said have to have some reduction in workforce because they no longer can afford to have certain number of employees, they're going to fire you and there's nothing you can do about it, you know? You can yell, you can cry, you can feel bad, you can insult your employer, but it's not going to solve that, a anything, basically, you know? Um, why? Because it's not a right. It is not a privilege either, you know? Um, so certainly for me, a job is not a privilege. A job and having a job and, and working is more of a necessity. Why it is a necessity? Simple and easy. We live in a economy where money is used to buy goods and services. They are to buy for for anybody in 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 who lives in the United States. Um, anybody that needs to buy goods and services needs to have money. If you don't have money, you cannot buy goods and services. And by goods, I mean like anything, whether it's a watch, whether it's a shirt, whether it's some pants a hat, food, uh, gasoline, a car, etc, etc, etc. You need money. There are different ways of getting money. You can do illegal activities, you can do um, 
certain things that will end up um, bad things that will may end up in a in, in in a bad consequence, or you can work. The honest person way of generating money or or earning money or or, or getting money to to buy goods and services is by uh, working. So. And because of that, because money is needed all the time, you know, you you, you cannot tell, you, you cannot batter anymore in the in in, in today's um, world. You cannot just say, okay, maybe I give you this if you let me have that. No, you cannot batter today. Before you used to be able to batter, you used to exchange goods for other goods or services for other services. Not anymore. Now anybody what they want is money. As George Collins said, money. Even churches want money. I don't know why because. I mean, I'm an atheist, there's not a God, so, you know, and if God needs money, why he doesn't come down and work, you know, or, or maybe, you know, take the money that he needs, you know. In any case, that's not the big case. The case is like, you need money to be able to basically live and pay for good services, rent, heat, anything, you know. So a job is not a, and that's why for me, and the way that I see a job, um, a job is not a right. Um, the way that I see a job is as, as a necessity, not as a, what people said that a job is not a right, it is a privilege. It is not a privilege, it is a necessity. A job is not a privilege, a job is a necessity. It's something that you need so that you can generate the money that you need so that you can continue buying goods and services, period. You know, and, and, and this comes from economy too, basic economy. Um, so yeah, you know, now because it is a necessity, it means that if you have no money, what are you going to do, you know? And, and, and that's been the case, you know, because when you search for a job, either you can search a job in your major, and sometimes you're lucky, you get the job that you want, but sometimes you're not. In my case, I've been trying for the last three years to find something steady, something in my previous area of engineering or something related, not having been able to find anything to this date. Um, I, I'm trying to, I've been trying to find um, something related to business administration. I finally found it, but at the same time, um, the early this year, uh, and I, a few weeks ago, I finally decided to wake up early and, and go to this company called uh, Labor Ready, and they put me to work the same day. I ended up doing ditch watching, ended up doing w waiting tables, ended up working in a kitchen. And it's a back-breaking job, but honestly, I needed the money, and at least I was able to buy some of the stuff that I needed. Like, I bought a bus pass, so now I have a bus pass that, that will last until um, two more weeks, at least. So I can move around, and I can go to work, and I can go to interviews if I, if I needed to. Um, um, but, but, but now that I have an, another job, I, it's kind of like it's probably going to lead, hopefully, to, to, to a career. Um, but... My point is that I, I may have sounded like I'm not willing to, 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 to do anything, but, but I said that I was hey, willing to do anything to work, and I did it. You know, I have work. The, 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 honestly, you know, the ditch watching is a very hard job, and any ditch watcher will, will probably agree with me. It's a back-breaking job. It takes a lot. Um, it's also very stressful. You know, you get a lot of, like, do this, do that. Working in a kitchen is... Uh, it's a pain the neck, you know. Um, but honestly, it, it also changes my perspective because as a business person, I'm, I'm, I'm learning how things are done in that particular place. I can say, I can I may spot, okay, what what makes sense? What didn't make sense, you know? So, so, so you can learn from that and I can learn from that experience, you know. At the same time, I'm willing to do that if I, um, I haven't quit that company. So if I get time to work with them, I will try to work with them because honestly, I need, I need the money, you know. This hasn't become, um, my life right now has become more of like, I need to work because I need money. And I don't mind the type of work that it is. Um, as long as I get paid because I need the money, honestly. You know, um, any job is, uh, is good at this point. Um, I mean, eventually I, w I would like to have something, a career. But, you know, this time, if I have to do... Uh, dish watching, waiting tables or whatever, I'm willing to do that, continue doing that. Plus I also have my, my new job, which I will be working as a cashier. 
and hopefully that is what led to my career and coming to other career opportunities with the store. I mean, the store hired me, so it's like I, I got finally something more steady, something uh, that I know will lead to better opportunities, and I'm happy. I finally solved my problems, and we'll see what happens, you know, but one step at, one step at a time. And the other thing that I want to say is that I didn't give up. So, you know, things were very tough, but I didn't give up. And I'm glad that, that I didn't give up. I haven't solved all my problems yet. I still have money that I own to National Grid for power. I still have, I'm still generating barely money enough, uh, barely enough money to survive. But at least I'm getting experience, work experience. I got a, the, the start of a new career. And hopefully what, uh, what will happen and how far I can go will be in part because of me, my attitude, and also um, if, if there are opportunities within the company too. Because also even if, you know, like if there are no opportunities, there's nothing that you can do, but hopefully there will be op job opportunities, there will be opportunities to grow in this company, and I will be able to get, um, to get out of my situation eventually and, you know, get, get back, my, back on track and, you know, um, decent job and, and be able to live you know, decently. Um, in any case, um, to people that are still unemployed, I don't give up, you know. It can, it can take a long time, but don't give up, you know. Um, for people that, for leaders in government, please raise minimum wage. Minimum wage, you know, when you do the math, it's very difficult to live, especially for a single person when you have to pay, like, um, it's your responsibility to pay rent, um, power and all the other stuff that comes with it. Minimum wage, even if you work uh, full time, and depending where, it, this also depends on where you live, because part of the money is going to go into rent, food, and all that stuff, and medicines, and minimum wage doesn't cover all that, especially for a, for a single person. So, and uh, you know, the jobs that I experience, you know, they, they, they should be getting paid more. You know, pe people that do those kind of jobs should be paying, get, get, getting paid more, honestly. Because it's a, uh, it's a tough job, you know. It's a, it's it's really tough, you know. But, um, so yeah, please raise minimum wage. And um, the other thing that I'm gonna say is like, sometimes if you have a profession and, and you are you have lost your job, you know, um, if you can find in what you are looking for, be flexible, you know. Um, just taking a minimum wage job or something that pays less will not make you, it's, it's not a, it's not a failure. It, it, it's, it will bring um, income to your pockets. It will give you experience. It might give you other ideas. For example, like um, what the, the, the job that I did gave me other ideas, ideas for businesses. It, it, you know, it's, it gave me a lesson and, and it also educated me in other, in other areas that, you know, if I stay only going to school, I may never learn. So, you know, every time in life you can learn something, you just, you just have to be open about it. And um, the fact that I'm open, and I, I'm just glad that I was able to get that job because it changed my life, it changed my career, it changed everything, you know. Um, and this from a person that I, I know I have my degrees in engineering and all that stuff, you know, but. When you do um, when you work on a minimum wage job, your perspective changes. You know, makes you think more about 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 life and about about things, and it, it can give you ideas, and also will keep you busy, and will show you that you know sometimes you got it easy, and and life is not easy. You know, it's not easy for anybody anymore. You know, and you you cannot be just demanding. Although for me, my my dream job because I got other things going on, too. You know, eventually I need to, to get to a point where I'm generating enough money to be able to pay all my student, loan, my student loans because I own a lot of money. And paying the student loans um, costs money. So I need the money for that. Um, anyway, I will stop here and thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to write it. Thank you.